What's up guys, it's your boy Irfan, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk about how to study efficiently for biology classes at UCSB. So you take biology classes your sophomore year at UCSB and there are actually four biology classes you're required to take. MCDB1A, MCDB1B, EMB2, EMB3. These classes are actually a gauge for you to understand what you actually are interested in biology field. Are you interested in the biochemistry part? Are you interested in the physiology part? Are you interested in the evolution part? It's a gauge for you to see what you want to specialize um, for your next two years at UCSB. So I want to give you guys a few tips how to study for these classes, how to prepare for these classes to get the grade that you wish for. Lifetime in so for tip number one, it's a very simple one. A lot of biology professors put their slides, like the PowerPoint slides that they're going to teach online. So you can have access to them, go through them, print them, and take them to a class. This is what I did because when, when you're sitting down in a lecture, it's super hard to write down everything, every single point that is on the slides. So what allowed me to have the slides, so I just listened to anything that was different from the slides that he was mentioning and wrote those down. It helped me to uh, have every single detail that they mentioned in class and the PowerPoint. This is a huge factor to do good in these classes. It's about listening to what they're saying. Because on PowerPoint slides, they like they briefly like mention some stuff. So it's very important to write down everything they say and don't waste time on the words that are on the PowerPoint. Because you, you essentially have them in your desktop or computer. So there is no point of writing those down again. So just print your slides and take them ready to your lecture. Tip number two. So a lot of days, there are some hard concepts that are taught in your classes. So it's very important to get those concepts. What I recommend is to like go through your textbook and see which section of the book relates to the one topic that you're you're kind of struggling and reading the book actually helps you to get the background more deep information and hopefully understand the topic so i highly recommend reading the book to know deeply the function of that specific concept that you're trying to get so a lot of students like at ucsb don't read the books but i highly suggest it because um, sometimes professors don't go that deep in detail because um, there's not enough time to explain those concepts. So when you read the book, you know the reasoning behind everything and it helps you to realize that what is happening. And when you're on a test day, um, it's very important to know the background concept, not just like facts because let's say you were approached to it like a new question, you've never seen it before, you, you're gonna get stuck. But if you know the concept very truly, then you will answer that question. So remember, read the books. Never listen to people that say, oh man, don't read the book. Never listen to those people, read the book. So tip number three. So at this point, you already read the book and you reviewed the slides before the lecture. So you have to review your own notes that you took during the lecture. This allows you to read the notes again, which will bring back memories from that lecture. And will, it's just like repetition of the concept. When you repeat something more than twice, more than three times, you'll fully get it. So it's very important to repeat those concepts in your head way back before the test day. So when the test day comes, you already memorize this information like 10 times, 15 times. So you already know it. Like, and it's very important to review your notes. And when you review them, actually sometimes in my case, I was like, oh, I, I still don't get this part. So I just went to office hours and asked my professor, hey, can you, can you please explain this concept? So it's very important to review your notes because your notes make sense when you took them. But when you're after the lecture, like five hours after the lecture, you forget some concepts. So it's very important to refresh those memories and see what was taught that day. Tip number four. I know a lot of people say, oh, biology, you should go and like study by yourself. Um, you have to memorize concept. But actually creating a study group is 
crucial because biology is like a story. Like every concept is is in snow its own story. And being able to communicate with your friends and like telling them the stories of those concepts is crucial. Like I remember like a friend of mine asked me a concept and I knew the concept, but when I was trying to explain it, I was like, oh, maybe I actually don't know it that well. So it made me to actually study that concept more so I can explain it to others. So it allows you to realize where are you at and help each other to succeed. Tip number five. So this tip is actually super, super crucial. Do practice tests. A lot of professors give you their practice tests of like old exams and those are crucial because those are their type of questions. Those are the type of questions that they want you to know. So what I recommend is actually reading those questions and seeing how do they ask questions about topics. Is it just like um, super easy concept like questions or they ask, ask like deep, deep questions about those concepts. So it's very important to know how your the style of your professor is. And once you know their style, then you can go back on your notes and read your notes based on the style that your professor wants you to do them. And also, once you, like, you do the practice questions, and you know where you're at, how much studying you need to do like in order to get the grade you want. And also, when you don't get a concept, don't feel ashamed. Go to your professor, ask him, because if you don't get that concept on the practice quiz or practice test, essentially that concept might show up on your test. So it's important to go back and like realize what are the concepts I know and what are the concepts I don't know and bring them together and, and like fully get all of them. You need to have all your stuff on point before you go on test date because it's just like, it's like playing sports. You're, you're not gonna be injured and go out play. You have to be fully fit and knowing all your concepts, then you can be fully fit to go in and play the game and win and hopefully get a good grade on your test. Tip number six. So I always mention this, sophomore year is very crucial as a biology student. And there are a lot of times that time just runs away from you and you don't realize you're spending hours, hours studying like biology, organic chemistry, or like other GE classes. So, and then we forget that we also have another life that is just like, we need the social life. We need to hang out with friends, go to gym, hiking, go to movies. So it's, it's very crucial to balance your time. Um, there are a lot of biology students that just like, just go to their room and study 24 seven. And I don't think that's the best way to approach these concepts because like you get burnt out like by like the sixth week or the seventh week of your quarter. And you don't want that as a biology student in your sophomore year because you have OCHEM, you have bio, and some people have physics, and also you have another GE. So it's very important to balance your time and do good in these classes. Lastly, I wanna mention that nothing is impossible. Never quit. Biology is not hard. It just requires a lot of time to memorize concepts, to learn the concepts, and know the reasoning behind these concepts. So don't stress about it. Don't worry at all. Just do you, and I'm sure you're gonna be fine. So until then, I'll see you guys to the next video. Thank you.